was New Year's Eve. He was, to me, fine and dandy. But the next morning, New Year's Day, is when we notice changes in Jason. He's my very active child. So he plays baseball and everything, and when he just wanted to lie about, it just wasn't him. It was out of character. So my first thought was, you know, he needs to go see somebody for him to feel that bad. He needed to go see, and I mean, I only trust Texas Children's. We got checked out. They assured me that it was more viral, possibly, I guess because MISE just wasn't a thing yet. And, um, make sure that it wasn't appendicitis because he was having side pain. And, you know, we were kind of reassured like, hey, you're good for right now, um, but go ahead and monitor it and, you know, alternate Tylenol, Motrin, and um, just make sure he stays the same, not get worse. Well, he never did get better. My child is still not getting better, even with, you know, all these Tylenol, Motrin, and the fever just kept coming back. As soon as there was next dosage coming up, it's like, nope, fever goes right back up. There's something wrong with my child, and took him back, Texas Children's had him reevaluated, and, you know, they did more tests, more blood tests, and, um, he has certain markers that showed that he had inflammation going on somewhere. And we just basically went from there. And it was a very long nine days here at Texas Children's. He was COVID positive, but at the same time he wasn't. So he had had antibodies, but they couldn't say for sure if it was from a previous infection or if it was a current infection. We got test back you are gonna have to get confined to your room. Um, the no visitors thing, I mean, it was a real bummer for him. It really was, but you know, they did awesome when it came to keeping him occupied. So, I mean, they came and brought him up, you know, games, there was a PlayStation in there. To me, I felt like he was a priority. I feel so sorry for all my nurses because it was a big thing, having to see them come in and out and you know having to put on these full blue gowns and the face mask and the shield and everything but i know they were doing that to protect themselves protect others and protect my child the simplest way that they explained it to me is he had inflammation of his organs and they were trying to determine which ones we had to make sure that it wasn't dealing with his heart which it did um, and like his uh, gastrointestines and all that, which I believe it's his liver that was mainly affected. My baby's tummy was, I mean, he looked like he was bloated. That was something that I didn't think could ever happen to my child. He was just so healthy and, you know, always running around and active. And I'm sitting here looking at my child, look like a little puffball, you know? and. We both struggled emotionally, but it was definitely a challenge as a mother to see your child just lying there and you can't really do anything. You just gotta leave it in the doctor's hands in which I'm glad I did because they did wonders. The end of March, I noticed my oldest was having similar, way too similar symptoms, almost exactly like brother. It was, it was kind of like, oh mama, we're having deja vu. And they were exactly the same. I couldn't even tell the doctors like how perfect they like acted out and kind of like mommy my stomach hurts. All the symptoms were kind of coming back. And I'm like, no, we're not doing this again. So as soon as I saw that, I took him to Texas Children's. So this was March 31st. They, you know, kind of did the same thing, same test and everything. I was thinking, going through my head, knowing now I have another child that is going to be in the hospital. And with Jacob, he was the same. It started progressing differently. All the tests, all the blood work, all the, and then for them to say he has inflammation of the brain and the spine. It was heart-wrenching. I, I couldn't even call my husband. I had to have, you know, 
the doctor there explained to my husband what was going on and I mean at the same time Jacob's laying there he's asleep but I was trying not to break down when you know there's something wrong with your child don't push it aside you should know your child best and if you know that there's something wrong you would definitely need to get them checked out if there's any chance that my child will not be as bad I am going to take that so me and my family and now the boys are now vaccinated. It's just a wonderful hospital. It, it really is. Anytime that we've been here, whether it just be for, you know, follow-ups or our actual stay, it was kind of like a home away from home because they made it to where my kids were comfortable enough to want to play to know that yes, you're here, yes, you have to be taken care of, yes, you're gonna be hooked to monitors, but we're gonna make it fun. And that's what they did. It was they just the little smiles, you know, here and there. I knew it was worth being here at Texas Children's. It really was. I'm just grateful for Texas Children's.